I lost my company. I lost everything that I own personally, including my house. 25 miles of water covered the whole city. Some places, 16 foot of water. We had just started up the business like um, maybe the beginning of the year. Then all of a sudden Katrina came. <laughs> when the wind stopped blowing, thought we'd made to another one. But when you lose your business and your home uh, that you've worked all of your life to build, it was uh, pretty difficult to cope with. It took me 20 years, 25 years to build it, uh, and maybe an hour for Mother Nature to destroy it. When the wind stopped blowing, thought I'd be home with the rising sun. Two years later, it's still a struggle. You know, you, you got thousands of people that have not returned. We need people to understand that it's going to take a lot so that we can get our lives back on track. Then the waters came on in, and it changed everything in just that moment in time. In November 2007, eight CPAs from North Carolina joined three CPAs from Louisiana to volunteer their assistance to the long-term Katrina recovery efforts. These 11 young people, meeting for the first time, came together to offer their professional skills and knowledge to individuals and small businesses that had been affected by the storm. We, we didn't know really what to expect. I had some anxious feelings, I guess, coming down, um, but, but I like that. That is, that's what, you know, I think for us, and probably for a lot of us, makes us uh, want to do those things and continue to do them. It seemed to be pretty outgoing. I like to help people too. Um, I think that's probably a big reason I got involved with this. Back in North Carolina, all we know about is the physical rebuild. And now, you know, this idea pops up of what about the economy? You know, oh wow, that's a brilliant idea. The whole nation saw what happened with Katrina. I cried many days. So when this opportunity came up, I just saw it as an excellent way for me to give back and to finally do something uh, because I already have the skills necessary. Getting folks together, that was the biggest challenge actually, is how do you put together a team that's never met each other, doesn't know each other's personalities except through emails, an internet presence, and a couple of conference calls. How do you build a team that's comfortable knowing each other, working together, being vulnerable in some sense to each other, and also being able to read each other's strengths and weaknesses so that you put the best people in at the right times. Um, in the morning, we will sit down with folks from Operation Hope, and what we'll do is just match them up as best we can with the expertise that you have in your different areas. The project was coordinated locally with Operation Hope, a nonprofit organization providing economic guidance and assistance to communities affected by emergencies and disasters. Operation Hope is a multinational nonprofit uh, that specializes in financial literacy and moving people up the economic ladder. We also have the major division of uh, Operation Hope, Hope Coalition America, that assists individuals in preparing for disaster and helping them recover after disasters. In addition to advertising that the CPAs would be offering their services, Operation Hope provided office space and conference rooms for the project to use as a home base of operations, where small business owners were invited to meet with the CPAs and address any issues or problems that they had in getting their companies up and running. You put a project out here like this in front of CPAs, and it really doesn't take a lot more effort or energy to make things happen. 
they simply respond. The IRS about Katrina losses and all of that, mm. it's, it's very confusing to them. Yeah. Take a group of individuals, educate them a little bit beforehand about what they were fixing to step into, then have the spontaneity being on the scene every day just sort of happen. You know, my primary problem is cost factor, okay? You know, to recreate all of my records of what I had, which were primarily banking records. I'm in the limousine rental business. Unfortunately, my business location was approximately a mile away from the 17th Street Canal levee breach. In my facility, uh, there was about 10 feet of water, uh, as, as was uh, 10 feet of water in my home. The most difficult aspect, you know, how to pick up the pieces and, and, and where to start, you know, what to do with my life at that point in time. So uh, having a, a, a CPA, a certified public accountant, to be able to advise a business person what to do, uh, certainly about the problems that have occurred and developed as a result of Katrina and as a result of their businesses being destroyed, uh, I think is extremely important and I think it's a great service and I think it's terrific. I decided before Katrina to start my own business, but unfortunately, uh, once I got started, the storm appeared. I installed phone systems, set up computer uh, data network and business and residential. All my business were lost, uh, home, everything in the home was lost. It brought tears to my eyes, man, the first time I came back, you know, it, it, I couldn't believe that it happened like that. I'm going to tell you, that was probably one of the hardest things I, I felt, you know, for me, was to come back here and live and try to, uh, try to get back what you lost. You know, it would have been a lot easier just to, just to not come back here because, you know, I could have done better somewhere else. But this is what I love. You know, you, when you love where you live, then you don't want to leave. The reason I really came back, people started calling me about, you know, because I was starting my business up and they started calling. So, first time at working with a CPA, they explained some things to me that I really wasn't aware of. It would be good for any person who's trying to start up a company. Helping the people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, most of the people I've met with are actually, you know, seems like they're in the right direction. They have good ideas, good focus, good commitment to it. They just, you know, need a little bit of help, so. Puts things in perspective, you know, because uh, I think everyone has some tragedies from time to time, but to have so many tragedies where people lost family members, lost their viability to produce income, lost their house, to lose everything all at once is uh, very saddening. They are experiencing a great opportunity to work with small businesses. Some of them may have never had a one-on-one -on -one loan conversation with a CPA. That will be the greatest experience and they will give those individuals an opportunity to see the value of a qualified professional CPA and they will help these businesses tremendously. As part of the project, Operation Hope took the CPA team on a tour of the areas that are still devastated two years after the hurricane. For many of them, it was their first time seeing the aftermath of Katrina with their own eyes. Water here would have very likely been 12 feet deep or higher at times. Houses just floated off down the current that was being carried here. See the houses that have survived here, they're vacant. This is a place that's almost impossible to live today. Right here is some steps from a house. You see another concrete pad over there. You see driveways. Houses were all over this area, but they washed away. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I've seen pictures of New Orleans, so to see it firsthand was obviously a different story. Television, that was my exposure to this area, was what I saw on television. And um, there is a, um, there's a real difference than what you see uh, on the news. You know, moving on from 
from what I've seen on television to what I can see in person now, you know, there's definitely a lot I can go back and share. And you know, all my friends are emailing me saying, how is it down there? What are you doing? And I said, you know, I can't wait to show you guys pictures. My expectation included a component where our team members would become educated about this situation. So there would be a reverse mission almost to a certain extent. This is a serious situation and I'll tell you that at one point people believed that about 90 percent of the people would return. It's been a much smaller amount and if we look at small businesses they were hurt the most because they didn't have enough capital in general to sort of wait out the time, especially the ones that were oriented toward tourism. Mark LaCour was both a volunteer with the CPA team as well as a Katrina victim, a bridge between the two groups. One of the stops on the tour was at Mark's house in Lakeview, where the rest of the team got to see the extent of the damage it withstood. We might just knock it down. It's nine day difference upstairs. My house took eight feet of water. It's three feet off the ground, so 11 feet in total. I lived downstairs. I had renovated the whole downstairs. House was flooded for a few weeks. Water came down. I uh, came back to the city, gutted it, threw everything I owned out on the street. Quite, a, quite an experience. And when we walked through the door of that residence and we saw what the interior of that house looked like and we realized, wow, this is Mark's house and his life's been upside down for the last two years. The personal impact of that, hopefully, was confirmation that some of that ambassador training took place this week for our team members. Mark's unique perspective within the group allowed him to provide guidance to the rest of the team to help them better understand what many of the people they were counseling had gone through. I've gone through what they've gone through. I mean, we could have sat there all day swapping stories of this happened to you, this happened to me, this happened to your family, this happened to my grandmother. Um, and so just that, that connection, that, I mean, you always have to make it with, with people. Um, and just to understand, have a point of where they're coming from. There's a lot of physical rebuild in New Orleans. People coming down through various organizations to rebuild but to see a group come down with, to use their professional skill set that's a needed and vital service to this community, um, it's unique. I, don't, I haven't really seen that done thus far. In any disaster or time of crisis, victims will often look to the religious community for comfort and support during their recovery. In the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans, even houses of worship were destroyed by the storm. The CPA team held an evening session at the St. Paul Church of God in Christ, a church that had been completely destroyed by the hurricane and rebuilt 17 days later by a group of volunteers and parishioners. There, they met with an audience of ministers seeking knowledge to better help their congregations and their communities recover. And so as we go, if anyone has any questions, um, please feel free, speak up, ask the question, and we'll, we'll try our best. I feel like you guys are just a godsend because I think the heartbeat of the church is that we can do our part and do our utmost to get this community back up and running. And uh, we're just here to learn from you guys tonight. You could tell that the people there were definitely appreciative to have us come out and, and to talk to them. Um, at the church, there were several representatives from a variety of religions. It was just an opportunity not only for the faith-based community to come together, but also for them to come and try to rebuild their city. It's going to take all of us, whether you're here in New Orleans or you're in North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever you're from, to rebuild this city. What we learn here is going to be used, it's going to be a prototype that's going to be used all over the country. At the heart of that, for me, was a personal response to a huge, catastrophic disaster and simply asking the question, how can I use my professional skills to get in there and be a part of the solution? We all can work together and figure out the best way to put our resources in these situations. Y'all just say what you need to in order to make it work. I think it's, a, it's something that every CPA ought to consider. It's an opportunity to show the public what your skill set is and how valuable you are 
And it's more than just putting numbers on a page, it's about helping people. I've never regretted since the day I went into this profession being it. Um, I always knew you know, that I wanted a challenge and I didn't want an eight to five job that was just boring and the same thing every day. This has been one of the most awesome experiences I've ever encountered. I feel like we've really done amazing work in these people's lives who really are looking for just really simple answers. And it doesn't matter whether you're giving money, it doesn't matter whether you're giving of your time or your other resources. Um, it's just an opportunity to be able to make this world a better place. It's always a, a great thing when somebody's willing to vol you know, volunteer their knowledge and help somebody out. This whole program that goes on with Operation Hope, it's the type of thing that needs to be told to more people. They need to be more aware of it. I was glad to see that someone was willing to come in here and give free advice. There aren't a lot of people who are polished as far as knowing what to do with regards to putting business plans together, projections, marketing, sales strategies. So it's a wonderful thing because New Orleans is an entrepreneurial city and a lot of people haven't been able to afford those types of services. Hopefully from this we can hear a year from now that some of these people that we helped have started businesses that are, that are thriving because of our advice. I wouldn't trade this experience for the world for very deeply personal reasons. This week will go down as one of the greatest weeks of my life. We as victims appreciate the people that volunteer their time, their effort. I'm walking away feeling confident. They gave me a good solid foundation, stuff to build on. It's a great thing. We need all the help that we can get.